Fishnet Bible Stories proudly presents Jacob's Prayer After Laban said goodbye, Jacob continued his journey home. Jacob knew that God was with him. He was not alone. On his way home, Jacob saw the angels of God. He cried aloud, This must be the camp of God! Jacob sent messengers to tell Esau of his return. Of Esau's reaction, he was very concerned. Tell Esau, your servant Jacob lived with Laban all of these years. He has goats, cattle, donkeys, and servants to give. Jacob hoped that with all these presents, Esau would let him live. The messengers returned to Jacob. Esau was aware of your return. Yes, you should be very concerned. He is on his way right now with 400 men. He cannot wait to see you again. Jacob had no more tricks, no more schemes. He could not escape his brother Esau by any means. So Jacob prayed to God in great distress, for God had always come through for Jacob and made him blessed. God, you told me to go back to my homeland and I obeyed you. You blessed me even when I didn't deserve it because you are faithful and true. Please protect me and my family from Esau. You know what he'll do. Jacob sent more goats, cattle, and donkeys to Esau as presents. A servant from each herd spoke to Esau as they drew near. These gifts are from your brother Jacob, your servant. He wants your favor since he is on his way here. Jacob remained in the camp, filled with dread. He sent his presence up ahead. The sun went down and day turned into night. Jacob hoped that Esau would forgive him and they would not fight. Thanks for watching. This was part 14 of Jacob and Esau's story in our Genesis series. Check out our website, fishnetbiblestories.com, for slideshows of all our stories, coloring sheets, lesson plans, and of course, our Bible story videos. Have a great day. Bye!